Hey everybody, this is Rick, Rick from Sparky. I'm here to give you Sparky's weekly update progress number 14. And this one we're gonna be talking about specifically the syllabus section that we have created. And I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things we've accomplished last week. And overall give you an update of some of the things that we're gonna be working for towards uh, next week. So I'm gonna be talking about new features and some bugs now. Um, now because we're on week 14 now, uh, the software is growing. Uh, there's more complexity to things. Uh, so we are running into some small little bugs and we're uh, resolving those issues as they show up. So if you find a bug, if you find an issue, uh, make sure to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help and make sure that it gets uh, resolved. So before I jump to here, I'm gonna go through the features. I'm gonna go through the bugs and then at the end, we'll do a small little summary of what we just talked about. All right, so we went ahead and worked on three new features. Uh, the three new features that we worked on, we got a request to add a reload button for the modules and lessons, so I add that in. We also got a request to uh, be able to upload an image of a student over into the section of the student um, portal once we're actually logged in as an instructor, and I'll show you how that works. And we also added the ability to be able to do an HTML section for a syllabus. So the syllabus that your students are gonna see inside your course, that's the one we're gonna talk about as well. We also got four new bugs fixed. Um, we fixed the, a bug with the full width of items inside Sparky, and I'll show you what that looks like. We also fixed the background for a really long list of things, and I'll show you how that looks as well. We also fixed the invalid uh, image creation um, section when you were creating a new module. And we added support for 100 megabyte pages, so that's plenty of room to muck around with HTML and the markup and the colors and the outlines, all that. You can go up to 100 megabytes per page. So uh, we got past that limit there as well. So let's go ahead and create a course here real quick, just so we have something to play around with. And we actually have content for this one now. Uh, here's our content. This course is gonna be on sexual harassment prevention. And uh, do we have a custom domain name? No, we don't. Do we have a logo? Yes, we do. Uh, here's my logo. Bam, next. Uh, do I have a course description? I believe I do. Here it is. Next. Then ask cover image. We do have a cover image. Uh, I believe it's this one right here. Perfect. And then copyright restrictions, Sparky Incorporated. And then author name. Rick Hernandez, author image, here it is, next, Facebook share image, I'm just going to go with this one here, and then uh, Twitter image, I'm going to go with that one as well, price of the course, I'm going to say zero, and we'll talk about the prices, the prices is something we'll be working on here in the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. Some exciting stuff there with um, actually charging for your course. Uh, more info to come on that. Um, right now, it is just a price that you set for the course. This is on United States uh, currency. And if you want to participate as a partner to be able to charge for your course, um, we have an entire process of accepting you as a partner to be able to accept money um, online. So becoming a vendor for your course yourself. And we'll talk about that in the upcoming week because that's something we're currently actively working on but more exciting news to come on the on the price for the course. So for now, I'm just gonna set zero because I don't wanna get charged. Publish the course, no, I don't wanna publish it yet. Open enrollment, uh, not yet. Google Analytics, skip it. Facebook, let's skip it as well. Okay, it looks great. Let's go ahead and create that course. And now we have this link. So if you go to customize the course, and we get here to this new section. So if you go to the landing page, Here's pretty much the landing page that gets generated for you. And I added a list for reload of modules and lessons. So let's go to the modules, curriculum, modules, create a new module, do getting started. There we go, I'm gonna click published. And then it's asking for an image. I'm just gonna drag one of these images to there. There we go. So that goes ahead and uploads the image. 
and it starts processing the image and I added this little ro reload functionality right here on the top right hand, right hand corner so if you click on that it reloads the page checks if there's any jobs done if there is there you go uh, so instead of doing you know refresh on your browser you can just click on the little icon up here and it just does it for you if you click on this little icon you'll see here is the image that we uploaded if you head over to settings you'll see the the actual um, image there and if I disable the numbering because then actually I want to keep the numbering I want to remove the label and I want to do like this gray there we go under lessons create a lesson let's just do a text lesson here and we're gonna call it text lesson text lesson now it's like that module we created and then I'm gonna upload that file and then it goes ahead and uploads the image so before it was throwing an error that would the error message that it was throwing before it was um, invalid file type blah 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 over here so I went ahead and just fixed that so it, now it goes ahead and recognize each of the types of files and this was just a text file see all right so let's go ahead and head over to the syllabus section so this is a brand new section that we went ahead and added and the syllabus section allows you to be able to uh, control the content for that syllabus section of your course so whatever you want to go ahead and type in here you can get as creative uh, as you want so let's go and let's get creative here we're going to grab our title and then I'm going to put it into here I'm going to center it I'm going to um, make the size a little bit bigger there we go maybe underline it and then under it I'm going to grab the set headline for the description this and maybe I don't want to underline that one and maybe I want a smaller size there we go maybe highlight it okay it looks pretty good and if I go preview you'll see here what the actual student is going to see so this is what the student is going to see uh, for their um, syllabus and as an instructor you can go ahead and publish that and you know the syllabus goes ahead and gets updated if you go over settings we can actually publish it and unpublish it depending on what you want to do there for the actual syllabus so if you publish it students can see it if you unpublish it the students can't see it um, so that gives you that control there and I'll show you here how that works here in a sec but that's pretty much uh, the new area for uh, the syllabus I'm gonna add a student and I'm gonna add myself Rick Hernandez and I'm gonna do Rick at sparky.com and then if you click next we're gonna get this new brand new dialogue that actually asks for a file so I'm just gonna drag my image in there and I'm gonna go ahead and click create and that's gonna go ahead and create that account and now Rick is part of that actual course itself Rick has access uh, you can see when the account was created Rick hasn't logged in yet and that's pretty much uh, the process of uploading an image that wasn't available before now it is so really excited to have that there so I'm gonna click delete I'm gonna click delete here just get rid of Rick and I'm gonna add myself back in here Rick Hernandez and then once again my email Rick at sparky.com I'm gonna click next and then right here like let's say for example you don't have that image of your student you could just simply click skip so there's a skip right under upload there's a skip right here it's not super bright but if you don't have one you just simply click skip and click create and we still go ahead and create that student for you with or without the image so it's a quick little handy way for you to create students with or without the image so I'm going to delete myself because I want to actually add myself as a student from the student point of view so let's go see back over here so add an image add HTML section reload for modules and lessons so if you go to curriculum lessons you see here here's that reload modules there's that reload syllabus we have the preview pretty sweet let's see back over here uh, fix the bug with full width we talked about that the background image I'll show you that here in a sec going to here so if I go here and I'm gonna copy and paste this a lot of times um, there we go and if you go to preview you will see here that we have like this scrolling page now because we have tons, tons of content and if you see here in the background there's this gray background and before the gray background would stay to the size of the window now it actually just scrolls all the way infinitely however big you get um, with your um, content so I'm gonna go back over here and actually don't want to save that so I'm just gonna refresh the page here and it's not going to save um, those changes it's just going to revert back to what we had 
Great. So it looks like those were the last things. So I want to go ahead and show you here before we go now. I'm going to go ahead and register here as a brand new student. So I'm going to click on enroll. Rick, Rick at Sparky.com. I'm going to click register. And there's my authentication code. So I'm going to log in. And there's that first module we worked on. And if we go over to settings, here's all the settings, files, uh, modules, syllabus, uh, dashboard. So if we go to syllabus, you'll see the actual syllabus here that we created um, over here on this section here where we we're talking about you know, all the things that we were going to discuss. So if we click publish, refresh here, you'll see here there's an exclamation point. So whatever changes you make, they'll show up over here for the student's uh, side of things. And if you come back over here, go to settings, and then we unpublish that course, and we do a refresh here, you'll see here that the menu went ahead and shrinked and removed one item from the menu. And instead of having you know those five items, then we have the dashboard, we have the modules, we have the files, and then we have the settings. So we no longer have that, um, that syllabus section because we unpublished it. So if we come back over here, we publish back that syllabus, we do a refresh, Ah, there we go. Syllabus is back. So that way is a quick little way. So if you don't want to write a syllabus or your course doesn't require a syllabus, um, that's a quick little way just to unpublish it and not let your students have it. But if you do need the syllabus, uh, that's how you can go ahead and publish, unpublish it, edit the syllabus, remove the syllabus, add content to the syllabus. And that's how pretty much that works. And then, yeah, so those are pretty much all the changes that we went ahead and implemented here for the previous week. Um, we were going to be working on week number 15, and we'll send an update for that. That's going to include a couple of things, um, more specifically on um, actually onboarding instructors and making sure they can sign up. And we'll send an email more about details about specifically how that's going to get done. But for now, we have uh, the new syllabus section, a couple bugs fixed, and we're moving forward. As always, if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. You can reach me at rick at sparky.com. And I'll look forward to talking to you soon. All right. Ciao.